right, so I think this is something pretty exciting in this box. Oh, it is. Check it out. It's a new endoscope. Depths Tech. Okay, so within the case is the screen I was using it some yesterday. You get this. It comes with a 32 megabyte SD card. It's a little bit tricky to get out. Pop it down, pull it out. I don't remember seeing that it even came with one, so that was a nice surprise. You get a charging cable like that. And then, let's see. So this is gonna be your camera. And it is a triple lens. So there's a lens there, one on the bottom, and then one on the side. C is for close-up images. So we can plug this in. And I noticed when I, it's got a click, otherwise it'll disconnect on you. Also, it came with these tools. So there is a hook for retrieving things. There's a magnet. You drop something in a small space. You need to go in with your camera and get it out. I don't think it would pick up, you know, like a bolt, but it would certainly pick up a washer or a nut. Then there's an extra protective covering, but this cable, you can bend into a shape. Warning, please ensure that the USB cable is fully plugged into the host, no gap. Otherwise, there will be no signal or light. Does not light up. Let's check it out. Hold on the power button. Is that the power button? Yep, that is the power button. Oh, man. And it looks like it has another USB-C there. And then that's where our camera plugs in. So you could probably run it off a portable power bank. I want to figure out how to change between cameras. All right, I don't know how to cycle between the cameras yet. Oh man. View photo or video, ABC, here we go, lens switching. When the product is turned on, it opens the main lens by default. That's the one that points down. Long press the recycle button for two seconds to switch lenses. All right, let's try it. Um, now let's say, wow, that's such a good image. Let's hold this. Okay, that's one of the side views. We can go really close up with it. Wow. Check it out, there's some rust in there. Let's go back to the down view. Oh, that's a split screen. A and B. A and C. And there's camera A. Well, we gotta stick it in the cylinder on this thing. Let's see what the top of this piston looks like. A little bit of carbon. Wow, the cylinder still looks really good. Check that out. So we've got this Chevy 350 here and we can get a look all the way inside there at the valves. Wow, that thing has a good clear image if you're careful with it. Some serious carbon there. Okay. Let's start with A. I've never seen inside, oh, that's a split screen of A and B, that's cool. But we, I wanna just do A for now, okay. We'll set record. Let's look at the piston and then we'll look at the valves. So let's look in here. Oh, looks like our piston's all the way to the top. Let's move her down. There we go. Now you can see the cylinder. There's a couple scratches. Now let's see if we can see the valves. So we probably want to go to C. Oh, stop recording. There's B. Okay, I think we want C. Okay, there's one of the valves right there. All right, let's check out this uh, 1.4 liter turbo cylinder head and the valves. The image is so nice. That one's got some crumbs on it.
this is junk cylinder head but I thought it would be a good good way to uh, use this camera kind of check it out let's um let's stick it in the exhaust side and see what we can see there this would be kind of hard to get to on the car let's see lots of carbon clear images all right that's the cylinder that had a bunch of water in it ah what's in here what's in there And let's check out one of the cylinders in the old Mustang. So we'll, let's check out this one. Let's get a plug out of it. Kind of afraid to even find out what's what this looks like. I did have the heads off it a couple of years ago. Painted the motor and stuff, so um, I don't think I'll find anything. Too surprising but let's run the camera the plug doesn't look too bad let's run the camera in here okay so we'll just power it on by holding down the orange button okay and we're gonna leave it on the a camera view here I might have to pull some more of the cord out so let's see what we can see okay so there's our plug hole Unfortunately, this thing sits more than it gets used. Alicia and I used to take it on trips quite a bit. But there's our piston. We can see the cylinder wall. I'll try and rotate around a little bit. That's a little bit concerning. That almost looks like a crack or something going on. I would say, I don't know. Or liquid running down, like a head gasket, but I put new head gaskets on it. And I haven't really beat on it too much since then. That almost looks like a crack in the cylinder, don't it? Is that rust down there? On top of the piston? This old girl sits more than it gets used, but... I was kind of trying to hold off, because I really want to put a 351 in here with a Holley Sniper set up and delete all this Ford fuel injection. I know it takes a lot of money to make a Ford like this fast. Believe me, I grew up around Chevys and Camaros and Impalas, and now I have a Ferd with a 302, and I would like to just get this little 302 by until I can finish the 351. So sometimes maybe it's better not to see uh, what's going on, because that's a little bit concerning in there. But hey, for $100 on Amazon, this Depstech brand camera, Man, I'm so happy with it. Uh, I went recently and bought uh, this 140 horse four cylinder. It was in a boat. Alex and I pulled it out. So while I was there, I used this camera to inspect the cylinders and make sure that they weren't heavily rusted, that they were still cross hatch. And uh, this camera made the purchase. I mean, the boat wasn't very expensive, but I didn't want it if the motor wasn't any good. So for the investment of $99 on Amazon, with having three cameras, so you've got the side camera C, that's an extreme close-up view, then you have the side camera B, and then you have A, which is the camera right here on the end that faces straight down, all have LED lights. Man, I would say, I would buy this again. And if this one goes down in a couple of years, I've already scratched it up. I poked it in everything I have around here to like, you know, uh, check it out. You can see that lights on there. We hold this button down. It switched to B, hold that button down again. It switches to C. Now, if you do it again, you'll get a split screen view of A and B. And then if you hold it down again, you get A and C, and then we go back to A. So yeah, I would totally buy this again. Uh, it came with that 32 megabyte uh, memory card. It charges with a just a USB-C plug right there. It only took a, maybe half an hour or something to fully charge it. And I haven't charged it since. And it still has two bars of battery. It'll take pictures, it'll take video. One thing you have to remember though, is when you switch between cameras, you have to start the recording. 
but it won't let you switch between cameras while it's recording. So you have to stop the recording and then you can switch cameras and then you can record again. I keep forgetting to do that. So yeah, hopefully this helps some people make the decision. I just kind of went out on a limb. This one had the best reviews that I could find and uh, for that kind of money. So I would totally buy it again and thank you guys for watching.